Oh, yeah, we can see it. There's a fish there in the center of the of the frame, but I don't know if we can see it in the camera, but you can see it. Fish is inside the moat. So the tour also includes snorkeling. They have the snorkel gear here for you. Um, it's supposed to be some of the best snorkeling in the world and I have never snorkeled so this would be a good place to do it, wouldn't it? Good people laid out on the beach. A little bit of a choppy ride some coming in, so some people's stomachs are probably still kind of motion. People laying down, relaxing. Did you know that originally it was called Las Tortugas, meaning the turtles? Ponce de Leon named it that when it was discovered in the early 1500s. Later on, British sailors renamed it Dry Tortugas because they kept writing on the maps dry to let people know that there was no fresh water located here. how they used to turn the big guns. You can see the tracks they used to run on. I imagine it would get very hot in here in the summertime. Yeah, I can imagine. As you're walking through the fort, Think about the different construction obstacles that the engineers faced. The shifting sands, hurricanes, severe heat, lack of fresh water, the distant supply of sources. Imagine what life was like back on a small island in the 1800s. Though it was never completed or fired upon, the fort incorporated the latest military technology of its day. We found an opening to a closed off tunnel. Can't really see in there. And the camera light doesn't give enough light, but it's dark, but it's a tunnel. And it's, but it goes all back in there. Yeah, it goes all see. back in there, but it's blocked off anyway. I 
guess that's for the What do you see in here? Water dripping down. Oh, water too. dripping. Oh, like full of water. Oh, trust maybe like the rainwater catchment system for fresh. In 1863, the U.S. Army started to build the barracks for the soldiers. It was a three-story building and was designed to house a thousand soldiers, but it was never completed. Hurricanes and neglect and a fire damaged it, and it was torn down in the 60s. <laughs> Pretty cool. <clears throat> I think this is where they stored the powder. Keep ink powder dry. A fort's effectiveness in the 1800s depended in large part on its gunpowder supply. Keeping the powder dry and avoiding explosions were critical. This powder magazine's special features included wooden floors and walls to prevent sparks and vents and raised flooring to enhance air circulation. The impressive arch above you was designed to support a thick roof of protective concrete. In the next building you're going to see to the right, that's the hot shot furnace. Just imagine what it was like to heat solid cannonballs and load them in there. And now they're red hot projectiles that are going to be shot out at the warships to set them ablaze. So this here is where they had the officers' quarters back in the day. These are the remnants of the foundations they had the sign back there. I took a picture of that. It has several kitchens and women and children and and soldiers alike. Watch your step there. Yeah. What a breeze. Yeah. Ponce de Leon's 1513 expedition was also the first to document the Florida current which later became a very important channel 
for ships traveling from the Gulf of Mexico to Europe. now. You can hear some of the people talking about the snorkeling and they're fighting the, the currents and it's kind of hard to see anything because when the water's stirring about it's pretty cloudy. I can forego the, the snorkeling. What do you think? Snorkeling or no snorkeling? If there's not visibility I don't see that it's worth it. Yeah. Look at the birds just floating around. Yeah, the birds are just kind of hovering. I love the way they just look like glide. Yeah. Wind! A lot of places with no handrails or anything. If you're not paying attention, you can step right off. still don't know what the weather's going to be. Right. Maybe the wind will be at our backs on the way in and we'll get in a little quicker. Our courtyard is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the Pentagon. Oh, yeah. I've mean, never been there. I mean, the Pentagon's bigger, but um, it just it has the same style of build. And then our courtyard and the walls around it.
watch your step. It is so completely beautiful up here. But with this crazy wind today, you really need to be careful because you are really close to the edge. And it's no joke, this wind could blow you right off the side. So be careful. Treasures? <laughs> so 
it's Queen of the Fort. I'm standing on one of the Traverse magazines. These are hill-like structures that were used to protect the ammunition from the enemy fire. They could also shield the nearby gun crews if it was necessary. There are 16 of them located between the gun platforms on the open, vulnerable top tier of the fort. I think I found the break room. Oh, you need to go sneak in and take a break? <laughs> I don't know. It says it's closed. What do you think? No breaks allowed. This is where the residence area is. So, do not enter. Do not enter. No sweat today. <laughs> I've been wondering what kind of trees these are. I think we're about to find out. Buttonwood. Buttonwood. Is that the Fountain of Youth? Didn't, didn't Ponce de Leon discover the Fountain of Youth? That's in St. Augustine. Oh. So, if we get to St. Augustine, you can go check that out. Well, this could be the Fountain the fountain of Youth from the dry Tortugas. It isn't so dry right here. No. Oh. That's the wet Tortuga Fountain? The wet Tortuga Fountain. <laughs> Let me dive in. <laughs> oh man, all the water's gone now. So we've been walking around the dry tortugas here. What do you think? I think it's amazing. I mean, I can imagine this place back in its 
magnificent state and it's just crazy to think what it took to build it mm -hmm. the money the how many boat rides to bring supplies over here the manpower the sweat equity yeah. it that's amazing and it's just you're out here in the middle of the ocean where you were at like you were saying earlier just to think about where you're located right now it's amazing and not many people get to experience it yeah i think the most to me just speaking for myself the most fascinating part of the tour is just getting to be here and getting to see it and and where it is on the map it's, yeah it's really unique yeah where it is on the map is i'm in awe it's just wow but i mean if i would have known what i know now i would definitely have planned on camping here for a night one night i think would do yeah and have the time to explore more because you do kind of feel rushed it does feel rushed you're only on the ground about four and a half hours and we had bad weather today so not ideal snorkeling conditions yeah. so we won't get to do that and i think that's a magnificent part of the experience as well so if mm -hmm. i could do it all over again i would have planned for camping here a night yeah. So if anybody's looking to do that in the future, do it because I mean you won't have cell service and you have to bring all your stuff, but what an experience. Yeah, it's a pretty neat experience. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the inner courtyard. It's really gorgeous. Even though it's super windy, we're blessed with not sweating at all and you feel nice with the breeze, so Yeah, the tour guide was saying this is a winter. Yeah. Winter day here. Yeah, because yeah, normally it's it just blistering hot, 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 and in the summertime when you're inside the fort with the bricks, you're like in a brick oven baking. Mm -hmm. So we actually got lucky with the weather part. It's probably different all times a year when you come here and whatever the weather experience you might have, like no trip is ever going to be the same as another trip. Right. And with anything in life, you got to make the best of it that you can. Yeah. So it's just, I feel blessed. We're very fortunate that we got the tour that we got. It's yeah. hard to get tickets here. So. Yeah, we just got in on a whim, so God is good. Yeah. All the time. This is the upper deck of the Yankee Freedom, and if the weather is great and you brought your sunscreen, I would suggest that you ride up here because the view is gorgeous. Pretty water, isn't it? It is. Set up a nice chair over there. Just snooze. There's a lot of water out there.
get a boat and live out here? Hmm. I think I'd like it for about a day or so. Oh yeah. <laughs> you miss the grass. Yeah.